Hey there, ghouls and gals. Kayla here with Cafe Crashdown. I am back from my very long hiatus to bring in the new season of Doctor Who, season 14. In today's episode, we are talking about the holiday special, The Church of Ruby Road. So let's roll those credits. dudes i'm kayla with cafe crashdown and if you've never been here before with cafe crashdown which i don't blame you it has been a while i am a huge horror and sci-fi fan and i totally am down for both genres because they totally coincide they fit so nicely together and so on this channel we talk about special effects makeup we talk about movie reviews tv show reviews we talk about the different subgenres of each genre we talk about urban legends i mean you name it uh anything that kind of goes into the realm of horror and sci-fi we talk about here so if you are totally into that stuff you just want to like geek out and talk about all things texas chainsaw massacre or even doctor who then you've come to the right place so like i said in the beginning i have been gone for quite a long time Life has happened, man, and gosh, it seems like as soon as I stopped doing videos because I had to take some time to prepare for things, then we had a global pandemic, which that that was a thing, right? Um, so my set was completely gone during that period of time, and yeah, just life happened. I moved across the ocean to Europe. I got a new cat. I had pink hair for a while. It's now I'm kind of fading out, so um, I'll be going back blonde, which is what you guys know about. And yeah, it, I'm full-time freelancing now, which is completely different from what I was doing last time. So yeah, it's been a whole like full circle thing, just coming back here, but I've missed this. I've missed being here. I've missed talking about all of these things that I'm really passionate about. And what better way to bring back Cafe Crashdown than to talk about Dr. Who. Doctor Who is, uh, it is so near and dear to my little heart. I have loved Doctor Who for such a long time. I say a long time. I watched it back in college in 2008. And so that was kind of when it was my first introduction. It was one of those things when I was flipping the channel to an old, old sci-fi channel where you guys know what I'm talking about, like in the 90s and early 2000s, what the sci-fi channel was like, super awesome super quirky, weird special effects, you name it. So I always loved going to the Sci-Fi channel and they were showing a special of Doctor Who. And I just absolutely fell in love from the crazy mannequins that came to life and started chasing the main characters to uh, the stretched out face of Cassandra. I just, I was in it, I was here for it. And so I have loved Doctor Who for a very long time. I have followed the journey all the way up to the season and our dear doctor has been through so much. But now we have a new fresh doctor. He's like split in half. So that's interesting. We'll be talking about that. Like I said, we got a new companion. Let's all get into some of that. So if you want to skip all of this stuff and you're like, I just want to know what she thought about the episode, then you can definitely scroll ahead and find the little chapter note uh, to find where we start talking about the episode. But I just want to go into a couple of things just to kind of set it up. So for one, we have this brand new doctor who has been split in two. And I have to say, I absolutely love the 60th anniversary specials. I am kind of biased because I absolutely love David Tennant. He, he's my guy, he's my dude. And I absolutely love Donna as well. Donna is one of my favorite companions. I think that their chemistry together and their relationship together as basically two best friends is just absolutely beautiful. It's your found family type of situation. And so I just love that. And I love that they brought them back together. And I loved that Donna was part of his healing journey because this is especially at this point when we have the doctor and the 60th anniversary, he has been through hell and back. He's been through so much. He is really dealing with all of this trauma. And what does he need more than anything? He needs his best friend. And what does the universe provide? Donna Noble. So it was a very beautiful setup to this new season. So with all that being said, the doctor actually ended up splitting in two. So now we have two different variations of the doctors, um, which it sounds like they're soul split. So I'm kind of curious to see how that ends up playing out. But so we have this new doctor who he has expressed that he has done the work in terms of healing. And so he's a lot lighter, a lot, a lot more free. He's not tied down with all of these traumas. He's healed through it. Whereas 
our David Tennant version, he has to go through that. And of course, living with Donna, he's gonna be able to just really enjoy his life. And now we have a new companion, which is always super fun as well. And it is Ruby Rose. She is super sweet, super fun. And we'll get a little bit more about her when we get to the reactions. We also have a new streaming service. So we have always been on BBC with Doctor Who. Um, and then it's one of those that like, you just kind of hope for the best to kind of find it on other streaming platforms when they're just gonna grace us with the Doctor Who presence. Uh, but now it is on Disney Plus. And I know that there's been some people that have been a little nervous about that, which I get. Disney is becoming a huge monopoly and they're like now housing basically all of, almost, almost all of my fandoms. Uh, we got my X-Men babies that are back to Marvel, uh, which is Disney and same with Fantastic Four. And now we have Doctor Who. So I'm excited that all of my families are all together in one little hub, but that also makes me a little nervous because you know, if Disney gets a little greedy and a little too much, you know, that can affect things. So I understand some people's hesitation about it being on Disney, but the one thing I really am excited about it with being on Disney Plus is it's so much more accessible to new people who are gonna be introduced to the show. And that's what we want. We are part of a new, vast, brand new universe, brand new generation, and we see that revival in these new episodes, which I'm very excited to talk about. So let's bring in that new audience, these new people, get them in there. I have one of my best friends, Joel, watching this. so. I don't know what his feedback's gonna be, but I'm excited to hear it from him as well and to see what he thinks. But these are new people that are watching this show. And I think that's really exciting. So props to them for getting a hookup with Disney Plus. And you know what? Let's just go for a ride for this first season and see how it does on Disney Plus, you know? Who's to say it's gonna be bad? I don't know, we'll find out. And then the other thing I'm so excited about is Russell T Davies is back and he is writing the first two seasons of this new reboot of Doctor Who. To my knowledge, this could have changed. Gosh, news happens so fast. So he could have like signed on for like three or four more seasons. I don't know. At the time of this recording, from my knowledge, uh, he has written the first two seasons of Doctor Who. So who knows, he may be part of a longer journey there. But I'm so excited to have him back. He is who introduced me to Doctor Who. And so I have a very special place in my heart for him. So to know that he was coming back to revitalize this uh, new doctor and just bringing in this freshness again and the quirkiness. I really miss the quirkiness of Russell T Davies writing and also the character dynamics that he writes. It's just really fantastic. So I have a lot that I've been looking forward to. Another one that I'm going to just throw in there that I'm so excited about is Jinx Monsoon, who is a villain. They are the villain in The Devil's Cord, which we will talk about in my episode two recap of that episode. But Jinx is one of my favorite performers. I'm so excited to see them be this persona. So it was just like all the stars were aligning for me. So I was like, I have to freaking talk about this show no matter where I'm at and what my set is and what's going on in my life. We've got to talk about it. So enough of all this chit chat. Let's, let's go, let's go. Okay, so for one, spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. So please, if you haven't watched this episode and get out of here, go watch it. It's the holiday special. Christmas special, Church of Ruby Road. Go watch it, go watch it, go watch it. Okay, now I'm with the people who have watched it. I am not gonna do an episode recap because you've already seen it. So you don't need to have me break down step by step of what happened in this episode. To sum it up, it is Christmas time and we meet our new companion, Ruby. She's running around doing her whole thing. A lot of weird things are happening. Things are falling, you know, all this stuff is happening. She's got like really bad luck. What's going on? Synchronicities, here comes the doctor. And here we are. So I'm gonna first talk about the things that I really liked about this episode. Now, again, this is the holiday special. So I'm not getting super nitpicky here because th this is the holiday special, okay? <laughs> like, it's not, I, I just take these for fun. I don't take them too, too seriously. So I always just kind of see like what it's gonna bring. So what I really loved was the new dynamic between the doctor and the companion. I thought it was really fun to see their energy click and it really worked for me. 
His vibrancy was just so awesome. I loved the lightness that he brought, that big, beautiful smile that he has, just that energy. I just loved it. He just has this um, warmness and light that he just brings in and it, it's so beautiful to see. So I really enjoyed that. I, I had a lot of fun with this new doctor in this episode. And the same with Ruby. Ruby is just really, really cute. Um, and she's, you know, she's trying her best and all this crap is happening. Things are falling and babies are going missing and she's being thrown into stuff and she's such a champ. And yet she's still realistic, but she's still like going with it, which I really love. And yeah, she has a lot of fun with the doctor. And it seems that she's going to be joining us on this journey, which is really cool. And we have a really interesting origin story with her, which is something that's a little different. So Ruby, baby Ruby, was left in front of the church stoop uh, by the church of Ruby Road. Hence, hence the title, of course, yes. And so who's her mom? Who's her dad? We don't know, but the doctor was there and he saw the being, which we think is a woman, walking away in her little black cloak. It's snowing, that becomes a theme. So why is he there? Coincidences, that's what this episode is a lot about with synchronicities and coincidences and him really bringing up just really making a point that like the people that come into his life and the same for the where the TARDIS takes him is where he always really needs to be. And those people being brought to him at times that he needs to either be there for them or they them, which is what we talked about with Donna, right? Donna came right back at the right time to be able to be with the doctor. So the universe is taking care of the doctor, which and I got my theories. We can talk about that in another video because we don't know his full origin story anymore, right? We, we're figuring it out. So I got theories, but that all being said, the universe is providing. So yeah, so I love the new doctor and Ruby. I think it's a really cute engagement. We didn't get, we had a little bit, but I think we're going to get a lot more in the later episodes, which I will talk about where we really get to understand their dynamic more. This is more of like the, we first meet each other, we're here to have fun, and oh my gosh, it's an adventure, and oh, the suspense, oh, but this is so fun kind of a thing, right? So it's kind of like that those first few dates, right? Where you're like trying to show off to the person and like show the best parts of yourself. And then as we get into these later episodes, we're gonna see that once that starts to die down, and then we really start to see the true um, nature of both Ruby and the Doctor, um, seeing more of that dynamic play out, which again, I've been really excited about. I like Ruby as a companion. I am very picky about companions. Um, so <laughs> it's it's an, it's always an adjustment period. And, and that's the same with the Doctor, right? It's always an adjustment when the Doctor transitions into a new Doctor. And it always takes me a couple episodes to really kind of readjust my brain and kind of get used to this new vibe of whatever the doctor is. I'm going to do a video in a couple weeks. I'm going to talk about the whole transformation phase of the doctor and kind of explaining psych psychologically how that works. Because there's like a whole thing there with how that works, why he evolves into certain versions of himself. The other things that I really liked about this was the production. I thought that the sound production, the sound editing, the new music for this doctor with like that jukebox, kind of like 1950s, 60s vibe uh, was super, super fun. So I really enjoyed the music and the sound of this episode. And the filming of this was really great absolutely beautiful special effects were really great so kudos kudos to Doctor Who for the new reboot I definitely felt the new vibe I felt the new refresh so I'm definitely going to be curious to see how this kind of carries over and plays out once we get into other planets because right now we're just like hanging out on earth so it gets way more fascinating once we actually go into the new planet territory and that's one of the things I love about Russell is he's such a great world builder so we'll be hopefully seeing some cool places uh, with the doctor. So I honestly don't have too many things that I don't like about this episode. Cause again, it's a holiday special. I don't, I'm, I'm not expecting a lot of like huge things from the holiday specials. The one thing I will say that with this is I did watch this when it was during Christmas and yeah, I know it took me this long, but I figured I would just kind of wait and like pu push all these, like once the new season started. So, but I will have to say, so I watched this during Christmas 
and coming right here to like sit down and talk to you guys about this, I actually had to rewatch the episode because I couldn't really remember too much. I remembered certain things like that goblin song and dance number, whatever that was, um, we'll be talking about shortly. And the, and Ruby and, you know, a baby being left at the church, but that was really about it. I mean, there's like a couple of things here and there that I remembered, like the woman on the street that like acted like she like knew the doctor and the TARDIS, who is that? We don't know, I guess we'll be finding out. But I, there wasn't anything like super memorable about this episode, whereas I would say that past holiday specials have been very memorable. So, I guess I could say that that's a negative with this one. It was just an episode that I don't think I'm really gonna ever really remember that much. But not to say that it was written bad or anything, it just wasn't, it just was okay. It was all right, you know? The other thing that I, this is a personal thing, okay? The other thing that I'm not a huge fan of is the musical number with the goblins. Um, although I get it because again, I'm, weird sci-fi girl like I totally get why they did the dance number it's a holiday special like it's supposed to be fun and all this oh, whatever uh so I get it but I'm just not a musical number person so every time something like that happens we're, so now we have these goblins that are singing and dancing and doing this like weird ass song with you know about to eat this baby um yeah, it just kind of took me out of it personally. I was like, oh no, we gotta watch this. I gotta listen to this. So again, that's just me. So this is not to like poo poo on the episode because again, there's some people that like one of my best friends absolutely loves musical theater and like, that's cool. It's a musical numbers, like I get it. People are really into that. That's awesome. That's the vibe for them. It is not for me, but that's okay. So that, that would say that's my mark on that episode as well. And maybe that's why I don't remember it. It's like, as soon as they started singing and dancing, I was like, oh God. And then my brain just like shut off and I just didn't want to remember the episode again. I don't know, something like that. So overall, I know that this was like a really quick little recap um, of this episode, but you guys have already seen it and it's been out for a while. So I just kind of wanted to breeze over, kind of give you my initial thoughts, but please leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys thought about this holiday special. Did you have the same thoughts as me? How is the goblin thing to you? Because I saw some mixed info. Well, I saw some mixed comments <laughs> when I've been on like subreddits and things like that. Mixed opinions. So I'm curious to know about you guys and what you thought of the whole goblin number and also just this new doctor and the new companion and just this whole new vibe, this whole new reboot. So this is, I forgot to mention that in the beginning. Um, I think I mentioned it briefly, but this is a reboot. It's supposed to be, it's supposed to feel fresh and new and basically re-educating this new audience that Disney Plus is now bringing into the fold. So that being said, I'm about to say something that I know I'm going to get some trolls and haters and they're just going to like rip me a new one in the comments and that's fine. I welcome it because I think this is really important. The world has evolved. The world has changed. The doctor has evolved and changed. The doctor is a they. It's a being. It's an alien being. It is a they. They have no gender. They're non-binary. I hope I'm saying that right. Please don't come after me because I love you all. Um, but I believe the doctor is not binary. <laughs> so that all being said, <clears throat> there's a lot of talk going on about Doctor Who becoming too woke. Eye roll. Okay, listen. The world, as I said before, has evolved and changed. Okay, people are becoming more aware of who they are and more comfortable with who they are and more comfortable in terms of communicating that to the world because there is more open arms for people to finally come out and truly live and be who they are. And if we think about the doctor and all of the lives that he or she or they has lived and traveled and experienced that is also the world that they live in. That's the universe that they live in. So I understand that there's some of you that are so, I am trying to say this, basically like guys, just 
just ride the train, just get in the TARDIS, just go on this cosmic journey, just see where this first season takes us. I think people are just being so hard on the show and so hung up on Rose, who's transgender as Donna's daughter, or all of these things that is just so stupid and it's unnecessary to be hung up on. Like, Rose was a very beautiful character in the 16th anniversary. And I saw like a couple clips of like an overall trailer for this season and it looks like Rose is gonna be coming back, which I'm so excited for. She was super cute. And I really love that whole aspect that they were talking about where she said that she is basically there, no specific gender, right? Like when it came to, in terms of the whole like energy of Time Lord energy and stuff kind of going through her time energy. I totally did not explain that right. But all that to say is the times have changed, people have changed and are evolving. This new audience is here and experiencing and this is the world that they live in. So just go with the ride and see what happens and just relate to the doctor for who the doctor is and the companions and the different creatures and the people that they come in contact with, okay? It's gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay, I promise. So again, I am probably repeating myself many a times, but I had a lot of fun with this holiday special. I'm very excited for season 14. So please make sure to check back here once a week because I will be doing a reaction to the latest episode of Doctor Who. I'm gonna try to push that out as fast as I can. Yeah, you know, it's hard, but man, these guys, they're like pumping these videos out like here and there like super quickly. So I gotta get on the game, all right? I'm a little rusty, I know. But listen, I'm here, we're gonna talk about it, we're gonna be here on this cosmic journey. I'm so excited. So if you liked this video, please give me a like. Definitely subscribe, ring that bell, so then that way we can be total besties and we can talk about all things for sci fi and you'll be notified when I put up something new. So I hope you guys have an awesome cosmic time in this wonderful world that we live in and I will see you in the next episode. Take care, guys.